It's been real, but I guess I'll spoil my review in advance here and say that I'm going to be dropping Wonder Woman after this. I've been trying to read just a review for you guys for the most part, but it's gotten to the point where I just can't deal with this anymore. Uh, so Wonder Woman, uh, there's a lot of just sitting here and talking like straight up, as you can see, absolutely boring start to an issue. Uh, these people can't write superhero comics. Uh, Wonder Woman's going to engage in some sort of contest. And meanwhile, like the bad guy who's like Trump, but not is going and assembling a team of, uh, Wonder Woman's, uh, like arch nemeses, uh, you know, to form her own super team against her to get her. And as you see, she does this like arrow thing where they, it's the same panel over and over again, like with a ton of dialogue and, uh, continues, uh, through here. <laughs> I mean, absolutely late. Look at how, how little the artist had to try on this issue. <laughs> lazy, lazy storytelling. Uh, as it's just uh, not much happens here during this. But as it, as it goes along, still not much happens. Like, we, we get uh, a few different assemblings of her enemies. This one's pretty degenerate looking, of course. And uh, Wonder Woman, of course, is then doing trials with her different Wonder People. And look, again, it's the same lazy thing of the same panel over and over and over again. How many times can you do this in one issue? The same thing on this one, the same panel over and over and over again. Oh my gosh, it's a horrible read. I, I don't know what time, and then there's just dialogue just smacked all over it like it's a novel rather than anything else. But it's just Wonder Woman assembling her team and the bad guys assembling her team and nothing's happening. This one, they're playing video games and it's the same panel of the video game over and over again. My gosh, like, did anybody at DC bother to try to edit this? It's just total trash and nothing happens. So at the end of it, like, you're finally like, okay, we're here as your team. There it is, Wonder Woman Outlaw number five. There's a backup story uh, which involves Trinity, which are like the super kids. Um, and, you know, this has been going on for a while. Uh, and it actually just kind of leads into the uh, the story that actually just came out in the, on the stands. So kind of lame backup story as well. But, oh my gosh, what a travesty here. I mean, the artist just turned in like the most phoned in thing I've ever seen in my entire life in this issue. And Tom Kring's Kim script writing is just like, Oof. I mean, like nothing happened. Nothing moved forward plot wise in this issue. Uh, it's terrible train wreck. Call this a four out of 10 overall. Uh, I can't believe that DC greenlit this at the end of the day. And that's the end of it for me. I can't, I can't take it anymore, guys. <laughs> Leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Hit that like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.